The firecracker has the strongest evolution in Clash Royale, and it's not even close. But it turns out that nobody knows how it works, yet it is the most popular evolution in the game. And there is still little to no information online that explains it. So in this video, we will cover how it actually works in high detail, about the firecracker evolution's hidden damage and evolution mechanics. But make sure to watch until the end to not miss a thing, and feel free to pause this video at any time. The Firecracker Evolution is one of the original evolutions in the game, but has had many changes since her release, so we will cover the latest version, of course. First, we will look at the normal Firecracker to see the stats that remain the same, starting with the range in which the Firecracker has an average okay range of 6 tiles, roughly in between the Bomber and the Magic Archer's ranges. However, it has another range called the Projectile Range, and reaches all the way up to 11 tiles, and this is because the Firecracker starts its attack by firing an artillery shell that fragments into 5 Five shrapnel projectiles, all with a hitbox width of 0.8 tiles, which will be very important later. But there are actually only two differences between the Firecracker and her evolution, and it's not the hair color, I think. The first difference is actually that the Firecracker evolution has a 30% health increase to 394 health points, which means she can survive arrows. This fact alone has made players very happy, and even brought a lot of players back to the game. However, the second difference is really what makes the Firecracker Cracker have the strongest evolution in the game, and that is her powerful ability which we will cover next. The Firecracker Evolution's ability is called Explosive Sparks, and there are only two areas where the Explosive Sparks happen. The first is when the Firecracker Evolution fires the artillery shell and hits a target up to six tiles. Every time, it will create a big spark area. This is the first type of area and has a full length of five tiles. It also has a DPS of 60 or 15 damage points for every quarter second. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, because the next area is created when the artillery shell disperses into five five shrapnels that continue five tiles ahead, each with 17.5 degrees between them. And then when each shrapnel has hit the ground, it will create five small spark areas in total. Now, there are three important things to keep in mind here. Both areas have the same DPS of 60. However, the small spark area is only half the full length of the big spark area. Second, the duration of the areas are slightly different, which affects the total damage dealt over time, because the big spark area lasts for half a second more, which means it will do 30 more damage points than the small spark area. Isn't that cool? And the third thing is that the explosive sparks actually got nerfed so that the areas can no longer overlap damage. So if a troop is on two or more of the areas, it will only do the damage of whatever area the troop is closest to. Now with those three things in mind, we will use examples with actual cards so we can recognize how the ability is working inside real games. We're going to use everything we learned to fully understand how this evolution works by using two real in-game examples. The first example is with the Goblin Giant. First thing to note is that this troop has 3,336 health points, and the first attack comes after 0.65 seconds when the Firecracker Evolution sees the Goblin Giant within 6 tiles. Then the Firecracker Evolution does 3 more hits with 3 seconds in between the hits, because that's the attacking speed. And in these 3 hits, each ranged damage did 320 damage points, but what does this mean. The range damage is caused when the artillery shell breaks into the five shrapnel projectiles. Each of the shrapnels does 64 damage points each, and the range damage value is calculated when all five shrapnels first hit the locked target. So since there were three attacks, the total range damage done was 960 damage points. Then there was a big spark area for each of the three ranged attacks, and these areas did 150 damage points each over the 2.5 second durations. So for three big spark areas, the total explosive spark damage done was 450 damage points, but that's not all. The final damage was done by the Tower Princess, which did 11 hits until this point in time. Since the Tower Princess does 109 damage each hit, 1,199 total damage points altogether. This means the Goblin Giant has 727 health points left over, or just 22% left. That's roughly about one quarter and that matches up perfectly. The second example is with the Goblin Hut, because it gets a bit tricky with spawners. The first thing to note is that the Goblin Hut has 848 hit points, and our focus is on the one to the right. So the Firecracker Evolution sees the spawned goblins within 6 tiles before the actual Goblin Hut, and takes 0.65 seconds to fire the first shot. This time, the ranged damage in the Big Spark area does not hit our focus, but instead 3 of the shrapnels disperse, and they do hit our focus. But how much damage is this? Since each 
Shrapnel does 64 damage. That's 192 damage done in total. Then there was one small spark area that did 120 damage. Even though there are multiple areas, it is because of the damage overlap nerf. So only one of the areas did the explosive spark damage, despite the Goblin Hut clearly being in multiple areas. But we're not done. The final damage was done by the Goblin Hut itself because it loses 29.2 health points every second. So that means 146 damage points was done until this point at about 5 seconds. So the Goblin Hut here has 380 health points left over, or 45% left. That's about one half, but a little less. Which means the next attack will destroy it completely, and it looks like the next attack goes just as planned. The Firecracker Evolution covers a super large area, but needs a lot of time to reload. So naturally, with troops tanking for her, she will be unstoppable. Speaking of unstoppable, here's an evolution that players could literally not stop. The Insane Evolved Knight, which you can learn all about in this video here.